Hi, I'm Sandro Trapani. I'm the curator for Anatomica Botanica Architecta here at the Botanical Gardens Gallery. So Anatomica Botanica Architecta is actually about our, our nature as human beings, how we relate to our environments really at the end of the day. Um, basically, you know, architecture exists because of our physique, our bodies, um, and how we bring botanicals into our lives on so many different levels. Even in architectural structure, we'll find uh, wood um, either in a constructional aspect or maybe a decorative uh, aspect. So that's kind of the, the sort of foundation of the exhibition and why we, I curated this show. And because we had it in the Botanical Gardens in the Northwest here in Potchefstroom, I felt the theme fitted quite well. And there's this architectural structure, a gallery in the middle of the gardens, um, which is really nice. And we have people moving in and out of this space all the time. So the relationship between anatomy botany and architecture became the foundation for the whole exhibition. So the five artists on exhibition is Amoche Lang Ngake, Mpoch Horewang, Alna Fenter, Peter Joester and Sandra Trapani myself. Uh, the reason I selected these artists is because in their history and all their body of work they have some kind of relationship to um, anatomy, um, botany and architecture. Uh, in Mpo's case, for example, he's a ceramicist, but his techniques and met methods and his conceptual involvement stems from his heritage. And he uses the earth to make his work. You know, they are clay um, vases and, and pots, but it's not just in the clay itself, it's his methodologies of how he introduces botanicals into the burning and the, the raku firing process that he uses in his, his work. In the case of Amoche Lang, she will only use um, materials that she has recycled or gotten from the environment, her, usually her me immediate environment. That says a lot about our human nature and how we relate to the, the earth and how we relate to, to space and how she brings that into her work and the narratives that come through speak about personal issues that she's got with with her own space and her own environments. Um, Peter Joester uses um, he, his work comes through in his paintings is very abstract but his his approach is about structures in, in nature and in architecture. And he seems to find the same structures in environments as well as he does in architecture. And how he represents that in his architectural photographs in this body of work, and then translates that into his oil and acrylic paintings, how the, the paintings are almost extracted from nature and how you see similar um, structures. Even though the paintings are so abstract, the, the similarities between his photographs and his paintings are, are remarkable. Um, then we've got Alna Fenter, who is a stalwart artist, a, a veteran artist who has been working with found objects, objects that she has extracted from the environment on her many, many walks, she's taken objects from her own past, her own history. So, and she's combined these in very interesting ways to create narratives about how we operate as beings in, a, in an environment like planet Earth, really, at the end of the day. So it becomes quite an interesting uh, take on that. And then Sandra Trapani, um, myself, <laughs> I guess I approach the work in a way that I am looking for, I guess, answers in a lot of respects to my own heritage. And my own heritage and my loves and desires are very much rooted in um, botanicals, 
botanicals through symbols, for example, the Fleur de Lis, which was a symbol of my dad's hometown, for example, Florence, Italy. Uh, architecture has always played an interesting role in my life. I've had a very interesting relationship with architecture. So these things come out in my work as well. So I quite strongly feel that um, the exhibition is for everyone. Um, I always try when curating an exhibition that my own personal tastes are not dominant uh, in the curation of the show. I uh, try to be quite inclusive of different genres and work. For example, in the show we've got a ceramicist and we've got a collage artist, we've got a photographer and a painter and we've got sculptors. So the idea is, is to try and be as versatile as possible in my presentation of artworks related to a theme. So the, the hope is that it extends from, from very young to very old, people who have variable tastes, you don't need to um, have a taste for high art or you know con conceptual art in order to enjoy the work but if you are somebody who, who da dabbles in the conceptual you'll have a, a field day with this exhibition there's multi-layered levels of conceptual involvement but there's also a, a level of engagement from the artists with their materials and that for me enhances the conceptual understanding of what the work is about so I believe very strongly that you know you would look at a piece and go wow that's really quite appealing on, a, on an aesthetic level to me and then on another level there's a, a quite a, a, a strong concept coming through in, in every single artist's work so for me I feel it covers a broad spectrum um, I know just like any exhibition it's not going to appeal to everybody's tastes but the idea is to try and make that as broad as possible, try and make it as appealing as possible to a wider audience.